Okay. Hey guys. Um, hope you're doing as well as possible over there. I miss you guys. Uh, and this is the first video I've actually been in. Uh, welcome to Mr. Brown's basement <laughs> over here. I had a, originally thought we were going to go outside, but you know the weather didn't quite cooperate, so uh, we're going to improvise in here a little bit about uh, developing a conceptual understanding of vector projection, which is the topic for uh, Mondays and Tuesdays class. So what I have here is a shopping cart and a rope. And the rope is going to be used to pull the shopping cart in a couple different ways. And ultimately what we're going to be looking at here is the projection of vectors. So this is kind of a visual for that. So imagine if I had a 50 pound force that was pulling this shopping cart and this rope is representative of that force. The best way of moving it, the way to optimize that 50 pounds, would be to go directly horizontal <laughs> to the ground itself. So as we get further away from horizontal, it becomes less and less efficient. Like if I tried to pull it straight up like this, the shopping cart is not gonna go forward. But if I pull it at an angle, it will go forward, but I'm not using all of the force. The part of the force that I'm using is the horizontal distance of the vector. So if you could think about taking this vector here, the rope being the force vector, if I draw perpendicular down to the horizontal, this vector right here, from here to here, would be the projection of U onto V. So the way this is gonna be written, the projection of U onto V, U is like the rope, and V is like the ramp. And it's denoted like this. We'll take official notes on that later. So in the end, the final answer to this is going to be a vector. It's going to be a vector in the horizontal direction, and specifically of the X component of this vector for this specific example. Uh, where it gets a little bit more complicated and where you definitely want to use the official vector formula for is if this ramp isn't exactly horizontal. So imagine we're pulling this cart up the ramp now. The best way of doing this would actually not be horizontal like this, but parallel to the ramp itself. So we're still gonna do projections, but instead of a horizontal, it's gonna be at an angle. And ultimately what we're gonna do is we're going to draw a perpendicular to the ramp, to the angle. And then whatever this distance is over here is going to be the projection of the vector. I'm sure you can imagine if it was straight perpendicular to it, it wouldn't be useful. And as you get further and further down here, like up to this point, it becomes more and more useful. So when we get to these, we're gonna to stick to the formula, but ultimately the final answer will be a vector in this direction, parallel to the ramp. And it's just gonna be some component of this original vector projected onto this vector. And the map is in the other video. And I'd like to say a special thank you to our videographer. Say hi.